Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the title Boxing Boxeo Mexican Style Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the title Boxing Boxeo Mexican Style Boxing Gloves. Got mine in 16 ounces. It's a Velcro closure only glove and I got mine in this dark red colorway. You can also get it in black. Looks identical. Both have that gold trim around the piping as well as that white inner thumb. And sizing wise you can get this anywhere between 12 and 18 ounces. These gloves are manufactured in Pakistan and they weighed both exactly at 15.7 ounces so they're exactly on weight with each other for the left and the right glove um, and they're almost at 16 ounces so weight wise that's a really nice thing to see um, it utilizes a combination of memory and latex foam now i was really intrigued by this glove uh, mainly because when i was looking at the title website i came across these they're more at a budget uh, minded price uh, and it said that it's a mexican style um, inspired boxing glove hence the name boxeo uh, but in the pictures, I was like, well, you know what? Looking at the profile from the photos, I was like, it doesn't really look like a, a traditional Mexican style glove. Uh, and if you know Tidal, they have a lot of different um, brands under their umbrella of Tidal Boxing. They have like Fighting Sports, they have Promex. And to me, Promex has always been kind of their version of a Coleto Reyes style inspired um, product line. So when the Boxeo came out, I was thinking maybe this is kind of more of an affordable version of the Promex line is, is kind of what they were implying. Um, and when you talk about a Mexican style glove, you always think about Reyes and some of the other unique brands that are, are, are not as well known as Reyes, like Zeppel, Gill, um, uh, New Sporting, uh, Boxeo TM, uh, Casanova, Camp I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, and a lot of those gloves have very similar types of leather. The construction has some similarities. The shapes are a little bit different depending on the brand. Um, but when you see a Mexican-made glove, you know it is a Mexican-made glove. They all have their differences, but there's a lot of similarities. So when I saw these gloves and I received them in the mail, um, they didn't really tell me anything about being a Mexican-style glove. In fact, these gloves, looking at them and just the shape of the gloves, and when I, when I put my hands in here, these actually remind me more of like the Saba Super Soft gloves more than anything. So to me, the only thing that's Mexican-inspired to be completely honest about this glove is going to be the word boxeo because if you remove that word boxeo on these gloves they're definitely not like Cleto Reyes in terms of the way they feel the kind of foam they use and just the overall uh, shape I mean I guess you can make an argument that this this portion on up kind of has that kind of conical shape and that flatter punch surface but outside of that um, I really don't see it I really don't see Again, other than just the way they marketed it to be a, a Mexican style glove, it being a Mexican style glove. And that's just my opinion. So, but looking at the glove, I mean, it is a really clean looking glove in terms of the colorway, um, the simplistic graphics on here. I'd say it's a medium profile glove. It's not super tall. It's not super short. Um, you have that triangular title T logo on the back of the glove. Uh, one thing you'll note with this glove is that it actually uses um, genuine leather only on the punch surface of the glove. The rest of the glove is synthetic and you may or may not see the color difference between this portion of the glove. So starting from right here, where the hinge point is all the way to the tip of the fingers as well as the thumb. This is all genuine leather and it has a kind of a semi-gloss finish to it. So it's a little bit shinier. But when you go down here to like the, the wrist, the Velcro strap and the inner palm area, this is actually synthetic. And you can actually feel the difference between the leather that's genuine right here you can see the actual grain in the leather compared to the synthetic that they use on the palm and that right there it, to me is where they kind of uh, are able to reduce the cost of the glove which we'll discuss here in a second so this glove is definitely more affordable uh, than the pro mex gloves or really any mexican style gloves if you want to call it, that are out there because they use synthetics on um, some, certain portions of the glove palm side velcro strap and on the wrist and then right here is genuine leather so uh, you can see that there again it uses multi-layer foam construction using utilizing memory foam and latex 
Um, I'd say that the foam on here is pretty well balanced. It's right there in the middle. So it's not ultra stiff and dense, uh, but it's not overly soft and broken. And you do have to apply a decent amount of pressure with your hands to feel uh, how it compresses down. Um, and it has a relatively nice punch surface. So when you make contact with whatever you're striking, it does compress down nicely. So you have that there. Then the Velcro strap, you have the title uh, patch right here that's made out of cloth that's stitched in. Uh, no sharp edges, thankfully, as well as gold piping. Nice strong Velcro. And you have that as well. So I'll show you guys the Velcro strap. Uh, three and a half inch Velcro. Inside uses a tricot liner that's just nice and smooth. And the actual amount of padding on the back of the wrist is about three quarters of an inch of padding. That's uh, about medium density. The inside of the wrist is a little bit smaller. I'd say a quarter of an inch on the inside of the wrist. And this padding goes up to right about there. And you can actually see the indentation of the padding. And the same thing on this side, about a quarter of an inch that goes up to right where the stitching is at. Double stitching, gold piping right there, gold piping on the thumb seam, as well as ventilated holes on the thumb. And opening up, it says title boxeo on the grip bar. Grip bar is a little bit on the smaller side. And you can see it kind of tapers off to the edge right there. Um, and then you also have a nylon attached thumb. Again, this is a more affordable glove, so they kind of cut corners and costs uh, when it comes to the thumb attachment and then using the synthetics. Uh, Quality-wise, these gloves are pretty solid. Um, I mean, in terms of, I guess, quality to budget ratio, um, you know, a lot of people are not going to be fans of them using two types of materials to create the glove. But again, you have to look at it in the respect that if you're trying to save a little bit of money, um, and then there's going to be that that corners that are cut. I mean, there's instances where you really find those bang for the buck type gloves, um, like I did last year with the Superior Winnie style or even the Grand style gloves that have been hanging there forever. Uh, and you'll find gloves like that that are pretty rare where you get that all genuine leather glove that performs great. It's basically, it basically outperforms its price point. And with this glove, um, it's right where it needs to be at in terms of quality. I mean, I'd say that, you know, that's going to be an issue later down the road, the more I use these gloves, that thumb attachment. And then the synthetics usually are not as resilient in terms of leather, at least this thinner type of material that they use on the palm, as well as down here, it just has a little bit more of a tackier, cheaper feel, kind of similar to what Everlast uses on some of their entry level gloves. The leather itself feels nice. So, you know, the leather surface on the on the punch surface right here in the back of the glove is pretty standard for a title branded product that's made in Pakistan. The stitching looks really good. Again, I mean, a lot of the vast majority of gloves you see in the market are made in Pakistan. So, you, you know, as far as being a critique, they have really gotten it down to the science in terms of manufacturing gloves just because they make gloves for so many different brands out there. So the stitching looks really clean. The piping looks good as well. Inside liner is nice and comfortable, no issues there. And the gloves are pretty much almost on weight, which is great to see. Putting your hand into the glove in terms of comfort. So the wrist support feels okay. Um, I feel like there could have been a little bit more in terms of just being a little bit more rigid and solid feeling. And you can see when I tighten it down, even with my hand wraps on, it kind of folds the piping in this section over. So a little bit more padding and thickness of padding right here would have been nice for that. Um, nice deep finger compartment and you can open and close your hands relatively well with this There is going to be a little bit of a break-in period um, The thumb feels good as well um, The piping doesn't pinch down and the depth of the, the thumb compartment is great So even when I make a fist that thumb attachment doesn't pull down on the thumb and make the tip of my thumb jam against the inside uh, Portion uh, the width of the glove is a little bit on the roomier side so there is a little bit of wiggle room um, and for a 16 ounce glove, which is perfect for those of you that may have larger hands, uh, bigger fingers or longer fingers. I feel like this would be very accommodating for people with larger hands. If I could do it all over again, I'd probably get these in 14 just to get a little bit more of a compact feel because the inside of the glove does have a, a tad more of a, a roomier feel to it. The liner feels good against my hand. It's nice, soft, and smooth. Uh, it doesn't feel scratchy or itchy, which is a good thing. And there's a piece of neoprene that covers the stitching here. So again, you kind of have that element of a kind of like a memory type of foam where the more you use the glove, the more it takes on the impression of your hand. So it has a little bit more of a, I guess, a custom fit, if you want to call it. So you have that there. So overall, the comfort is definitely there. Um, I wish there was a little bit more support around the wrist. Thumb feels really good. And the finger compartment is nice and deep. 
Uh, protection and performance, I'd say this glove's right in the middle. It's a balanced training glove. Um, so you can utilize this glove for sparring, uh, hitting the heavy bag, hitting the mitts, doing you know drills with your coach or whoever it may be. Um, and you get a decent amount of crack with these gloves when you're hitting the bag out of them. A good amount of shock absorption as, as well. Good amount of crack. Wrist support could be a little bit better. You know, if you do have a wrist injury or a tweaked wrist, I would make sure to tape your wrists off and make sure you wrap them properly before you use these gloves. Just because it doesn't have the best wrist support compared to like some of those rival gloves that use a V-strap uh, wrist lock technology. Um, so definitely be mindful of that if you are going to get these gloves, that the wrist support can be improved. But yeah, I'd say right there in the middle. I mean, utilize this on the heavy bag, get a good amount of rounds in with training. Um, and the surface of it being leather should give you some longevity in terms of uh, the strike surface. Uh, Cost-wise, these gloves are $49.99. So kind of, kind of tying back to what I was talking about earlier with them kind of cutting costs with using synthetics on other sections of the glove other than the punch surface, the nylon strap. Um, that's why the price point's where it's at. Um, for $49, um, it's a pretty solid glove. I mean, for something that's technically sub 50, um, this is gonna be up there in my top five. Uh, when I make a list, I'm gonna have to kind of sort through and then kind of go through and see which one's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. But I'd say for the price point at $49.99 or $49.95, uh, it's definitely up there. It's comfortable. You get a good layer of foam. It's not a molded foam glove, so I like the fact that it's a higher quality foam. You get better feedback, better pop. Um, I'm not a fan of the, the use of the nylon right here or the synthetic, but again, at the $49 price point, most gloves at that price point, if you purchase them, are usually fully synthetic all over. So you can tell that they kind of try to spare uh, some costs, but at least make the strike surface and the thumb out of genuine leather. So. Um, at the price point, I definitely think you can get a really good deal with these. You use a 20% off that title offers, um, and you have yourself a really good training glove. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these title Boxeo Mexican-style boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.